Hello, this is Corey with Frosty Fly. Just here today to share with you a pattern, uh, quick to tie, super effective. Um, here in southwestern Ontario, you know, we're getting pretty close to the steelhead season, another couple months, so everyone's at the vice tying, getting ready, checking over gear. Uh, so I figured I'd share this with you today. So we're starting off with a size 10 uh, barbless grubber scud hook. I've got a tungsten bead. Got some uni, I believe it's uh, A dot thread and red. So we're going to start off with some lead free wire and do a couple wraps one, two, three, four, five. Break it off. Put that behind the head just to secure the bead. Just like that. Let's start our thread. Make some wraps over that piece of lead in the front. Just to secure everything in. And then we're going to come back to the bend of the hook. You get a bundle of pheasant tail here. Line up the tips. Then I do about a body's length. Tie that in. Okay. I usually run this up to the lead. Then we're going to use some copper wire and medium. Tie that in back to the bend. So this will be counter rib to protect our dubbing body. For dubbing we're using UV Brown Hemingway's Peacock dubbing. So it's brown with uh, a whole bunch of UV flash in it. Just something to catch the eye of the trout. So we're going to dub our thread. Use a fairly thin noodle. We're going to try to taper things so as we go along further, it gets a little bit thicker. There's that. So we're up to the wire there. So we're going to get pretty thick on our noodle. Just need a little bit more. So you want to tip the body to taper from real fine taper. And I usually, with this style of fly, make them pretty bulbous in the front. So then we're going to counter rib with our copper. That'll protect the fly from uh, trout teeth, make it a little more durable. So we've got that secured, helicopter off the wire. So next we're going to put a uh, collar around the head of the fly. 
I'm going to use some UV dubbing plus from Hemingway's. You can get them in these kind of combo packs, so it's got a good selection of colors. And there's quite a bit in each tube. So we're going to use kind of like a burnt orange. Dub on. Get a fairly good sized noodle here. And then we're going to wrap that tight just at the head of the fly, making sure to have our wraps just spaced back a little bit. Give a couple wraps in front. And we're going to whip finish. Usually do two here. Then we take our dubbing teaser, and you don't even need to really brush it, just kind of pick. It'll pick out the hairs here, as well as uh, a bit of that peacock dubbing. If it's a little unruly, you can just kind of peel off any longer fibers. There you have it. It's a good attractor pattern. I've had a lot of luck on this style of fly. They're quick to tie. You can do a couple dozen of them up real quick. In the water, all this uh, hair's ear and little fibers from the peacock kind of pulsates, gives the <clears throat> look of motion to the fish. So hopefully, uh, you know, tie a few up, get them in your box, get ready for the season, and good luck everyone. Tight lines.